welcome back, y'all. Welcome back for another Big B beer review at the damn bar. Today we got something special. Something I've been dying to try ever since I first tried one of their beers ever. I have here the Tucher Hellas Hefeweizen. So, the story with this is, is I had uh, first tried a Tucher beer a few years back when I had went to a, uh, like, I guess you can call it a concert or a show. It's called Gobstoppers or something, but it's up in the villages in Florida here. The largest retirement community in the world. So, lots of golf carts. Anyways, um, so, you know, at this show, I'm looking for a craft beer. I'm looking for something good and different. And a Tucher beer from Germany here pops out. And it was uh, the Crystal with a K. Crystal Weizen, if I'm mistaken. I have to find it again, and that will be in the future reviews. But I've noticed that, you know, pretty much everything that I've ever tried straight out of Germany or exported or imported here, whatever you want to, you know, is amazing. The Germans know their beer very well, obviously. So, well, they have actually, they have laws about how to make beer. So, anyways, this one here... In particular and on that subject with the laws we'll get back to that in another review our time limits us to, so far to where we're going to continue with this one the hell is Weizen. so basically what that kind of means is like a it's a wheat beer and it's kind of like a yeasty wheat beer so <clears throat> and it's using from when I looked it up it, it uses their uh, uh, I can't pronounce it. Spinza yeast. It's like their own. This brewery has like their own patented yeast with the uh, Bagu, I believe it is, wheat malt from what I remember seeing uh, when I looked it up. So it's like, you know, and they also use uh, the bright, like, uh, uh, barley malts. So it's all combined to make like a yeasty malt beer in a sense kind of like a malt liquor and and they actually even has on the bottle malt liquor not liqueur i'm sorry malt, uh, liquor so and this is uh this this brewery as a matter of fact tutor is it's older than the united states and they were founded in nuremberg i believe germany what was it i saw uh 1672 so this, this brewery that's been making this beer is older than the United States. That's pretty amazing right there. No wonder it tastes good. They know what they're doing. So the Tucher Hellas Hefeweizen. I'm very excited about this one. It's got great ratings, too. On the Beer Advocate, it got a uh, 88 out of 100. And that right there is really good for the Beer Advocate. 88 out of 100. On Untapped, it's untapped it kind of i don't know it's it's kind of got more people there on tap so you want to follow that it's only from one to five and they got a three point where are they write that down at oh it's on here they got a 3.58 so it's not bad it's like an average beer and it's like a you know a sizzle malt liquor but if i'm not mistaken the research it's a lager it comes in as a lager it uh, comes in at 5.2% alcohol by volume. So let's give this bad boy a try. Definitely exciting. Smells wonderful. Smells like beer. You know, I'm getting more of the aroma too as I'm uh, pouring it. Got that. I can smell like that yeasty character, like a wheat. Uh, I can just smell it as I'm pouring it. Very nice. I like it. I love the head. Nice frothy head. Very nice frothy head there with you know not very. It's got a lot of the small 
bubbles. That's that's not bad. I like that. It's kind of holding together pretty well. Definitely. Not very many big bubbles. It's very frothy. Very well 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 maintained there. I mean it is dying down. Look at that color. That's beautiful. It's got a nice darkness to it. Yeah. Definitely. Honestly, I'd have to say in my opinion here with that, I'd give that the uh Let's see. I'm leaning towards the seven on the uh, SRM scale. So, God, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful beer. Wow. It does not disappoint. This is very good. Mm. Nice frothy malty mouthfeel. Mm. Wow. Ooh. <clears throat> what a nice pale yellow color. It's great. I mean, what a well balanced beer. I mean, this is amazing. Definitely. This here is a man's beer. Let me sound too Australian with that. It is German after all. Man, I wish I had like a case of this actually. It's very refreshing actually. You know, I, well, not, I wouldn't know. You know what? I wouldn't say refreshing. I would say this is like filling in a sense. I feel like it's like liquid bread in a sense. It's great. I feel like I'm getting full drinking it. I wouldn't really call that refreshing. This is more like a filling, a hearty beer for being a, it's very malty yeasty. It's, it's, in a good way, really well balanced. I mean, wow. Mm. Man. That's good. It's kind of got a very, very slight sweet finish. And this one right here, I mean, being as hearty as it is, I would like, mm, it's hard to pair with something hearty. To me, something this hearty and, and just, you know, feeling as it feels, you know, as I'm drinking it would be, you really don't need something to eat with it except for something small. Maybe if you're doing some cheese or some, uh, bread and, and olive oil you know that i think would pair well with this beer so so for the big b beer review grade yeah them germans know how to make their beer i'm gonna have to give this an a a solid a this is really good i like this one a lot I would highly recommend this to anybody. This is, I mean, I give it a solid A. It's on the border between an A and an A minus, but it gets the A. If I actually went to Germany and tried it fresh, it'd probably be an A plus. <laughs> but that's really good. Until next time, y'all. Salute.